This video is going to cover the topic of unit rate. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question that will guide this video is what is unit rate and how do we calculate it? We've been working a lot with ratios. Like ratios, rates are a comparison of two different quantities. These quantities are measured in different units. For example, there are 20 cookies for five students. We are looking at cookies as one unit and our students as a second. A unit rate is a particular type of rate. In a unit rate, we're still comparing two quantities, but in this one, it's a comparison where one of the quantities is the value 1. It has a quantity of 1. So for the cookie example, I can scale the rate of 20 cookies for 5 students down to 4 cookies for 1 student. And you'll often see instead of this 4, you'll see per. This is a clue word. This is a big word when we're talking about unit rate. It's kind of a clue when you see it that we're talking about one quantity. Per student is for each student one student at a time. You can see that when I write the rate or ratio as a fraction, as we've done before, and I'm writing them as equivalent fractions, when I'm looking for my unit rate, this denominator has the number one. So 20 cookies for five students, four cookies for one student. We'll often see in unit rates that the denominator of one of our ratios is one. Suppose on a car trip, my car traveled 400 miles and used 10 gallons of gas. We see there's a rate here that's comparing the number of miles I was able to go with the number of gallons of gas I had to use. I can use the unit rate to see how far my car was able to travel on one gallon of gas. We often hear this as the miles per gallon. Right? The miles we could go on one gallon. As we've done before, one way we could solve this is to set this up with equivalent ratios. Right? So I was able to go 400 miles with 10 gallons of gas. I'm making a unit rate, so I want my denominator here to be one gallon. I want to know how far I can go with just one gallon of gas. And here it looks like I'm going to need to scale down. Right? I'm taking this 10 and dividing it by 10 to figure out just one gallon. And so I'll do the same thing to the top of my ratio. And of course, 400 divided by 10 would be 40. So I know that I was able to go 40 miles per gallon. That's my unit rate. I'm just going to write gallon with my abbreviation here. The unit rate is 40 miles per gallon. I personally use unit rates a lot in real life when I'm comparing prices of items, particularly at the grocery store, and I want to see which one is a better price. And I could do this if I'm looking at, for example, chips. So for example, if a bag of chips costs $3.60, and the bag is 12 ounces large, I can find the price per ounce. I can find the unit rate. So I have set up here an equivalent ratio, and I see that it was $3.60 for 12 ounces. OZ, of course, stands for ounces. And I want to know how much it would cost for just one ounce at a time. I notice that I'm going to have to divide this by 12. And of course, do the same thing here to figure out what the price would be if I divided that by 12. And if I do that calculation, I find out that this is a price of 30 cents per ounce. Perhaps there's a second bag at the grocery store, and that bag costs $3.90 for 15 ounces. I can calculate the price per ounce or unit rate for that bag as well. And by doing so, I'll have two numbers and I can compare which is the better deal at the grocery store. 
So once again, I've set up my equivalent ratios to calculate this. And I see here this time I'm dividing this by 15 to figure out my price for one ounce. So again, I'll do the same thing to the top of my equivalent ratio. And it turns out that this would be 26 cents per ounce. By finding the unit rate, I was able to take two bags that were not the same size and not the same price, but compare them both at the unit rate to be able to see which was the better deal. And if everything else was equal about these chips, their flavor, their taste, and everything, then I would know that this bag here would be a better choice because it's cheaper per ounce. So that's one example of when I use unit rates. Um, particularly right at the grocery store, but we use unit rates many different ways and many different times. Remember the essential question of this video is what is a unit rate and how do we calculate it? So we've seen that a unit rate is when we're trying to figure out the value of the ratio when one of the quantities is one. And we calculate it in many ways, but I have shown you that you can calculate it by setting up equivalent ratios and scaling down to find the value.